Hello, my next welcome to my 140th gameplay of the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online for the PC. This time I'm going to feature yet another deck that has some cards from the newest Trading Cards game set. Bit of Voltage is my Galarian Romanitan VMAX Frostmark decks. So I'm going to show you how the deck works. We'll get to a game and hopefully get a win with the deck. So my entire is Galarian Romanitan VMAX. It's got 320 HP. It's a Dynamax Water type, 320 HP. For four water energy, it's got Max Water. That's 200 damage. It also does 30 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness or resistance for what bench Pokemon. So this is a good... You can two shot most V Maxes. You one shot the Dynamic GXs, Corbett Vs. You can two shot most V Maxes, and then you can spread damage to the uh, pull in the back, and they don't play the new bench barrier, and they can uh, you can take one shot easily that way. So a very good attacker, very good bench spreader, because they do like. But problem is it's weak to metals because if you do play against the Austin Dagger Palkiaization deck or any look any metal by Lucario Metalization deck, pretty much lose. It's a pretty tough matchup. But we'll see that how we can do. Then we go over the rest of the deck. So we play one Elder Ghost. With the heavy match ability, it's got 180 HP, it's a basic grass type. Really cool heavy match. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench to return, you may put a supporter card from your discard pile to your hand. So, this is a good way to get supporters back, like uh, if you need to draw again with Professor's Research, if you don't draw as a bell supporter. You can play uh, actually Boss's Orders to win the game that you need, to get that last bit of uh, price taken for the win. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, to get back supporters just because you need them. And then for double cards, as you got slow does 50 damage, you may shove this Pokemon all attached cards into your deck. Very good attack, you can just um, attack and then reshuffle it and use the ability once again to get another supporter out there you need. They play one me with the Bench Barrier ability, it's got 60 HP, it's a side type basic. It has a ability called Bench Barrier, prevent all damage done your Bench Pokemon by both opponents' attacks. So stops, and again, OGX is Venom Shot. Another good Diamond Domain Intense, B Max is white, Max Whiteout. Also, my Crown Max Spit Shot. Uh, Pikachu's going to attack both GX. A lot of things that hit the bench, so it's very good to stop that. And the side power for colors, put three down counters on your opponent's Pokemon anywhere anyway you like. Good to fix numbers with this. So you can fix numbers with that, taking easy knockouts. Then the four three go down and domain and V Max. I'll play a sword go down and domain and V. It's got 220 HP to water type basic. For so water colors, it's got freezing head, but it's 50 damage. For the coin, as your opponent's Pokemon is now paralyzed. You can use this for a stall, so you don't have a switch or anything like that, so you can attack again. And then for two water and the colors, it's got four slides, those 190. And it also does 30 damage to itself. So you can. You do, uh, again, you can one shot the Dana GXs or Corvac Vs with this attack, and then if you, need, if you have nothing like a Domain Attack B Max to attack with, you can use this to set up your attacks this way. There's also like one Keldeo GX from, uh, this is from Unified Mind. It's got 170 HP, it's a water type basic. Really called Pure Heart, prevents all effects of attacks, and only damage done to your Pokemon. Done this Pokemon by opponents, Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX, so like Mewtwo Mew can't touch it, Pikachu Zekron on attack, GX can't touch it, so it's a good damage protector. Against those Jaxes. And then for two water colors, got Sonic Edge, does 110 damage. This attack damage is not affected by any effect of your opponent's active Pokemon. So this is good for Altaria, because they have the ability uh, that prevents V or Jaxes from touching it. Also, Destroy Dry as well, but Destroy does one shot because it's weak to grass, but those are counted just in case we need it. And then for the same course, Resident Blade Jax, does 50 damage times the number of each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is good in the Turner's VMAX matchup because they have seven or eight Pokemon in their bench. You could one shot an Eternus V Max by doing 350 or 400 damage this way. So, this is why I play Keldeo GX as well. So, play 3 3 of the Fast Mod. This is the uh, energy acceleration to speed up our uh, Grand Mod Manager's V Max attacks. It's got any HP to stage 1 water type. It's literally called Ice Dance. As obvious as you like doing turn, you may just attach a water energy card from one hand to one of your bench water Pokemon. So, let's say we, have a, we can attach it with an air balloon or we have a switch in our hand. We can uh, attach water energy to our bench, get our Grand Mod Manager's V Max is set up. And then start attacking right away. And then the water colors are working for 30 damage, not that useful. All useful for is eye dance ability. There's also play one Sweet Coon. This is all from the new set, Darkness of Blaze. It's got 120 HP, it's just water type basic. For one water energy, it's got a white slash for 20. And for two water energy, and the colors, it's got a raw loop, does 130 damage. And you put two water energy attached to this Pokemon to your hand. So, this is a little good counter against the Sidroid or Altaria. And also, you can uh, we'll turn those two energy back and then attach them against like Lyra and Domain to have on the bench or any other attack on, on the bench with Frost Mount ability. Now we go to the supporters, trainers, and items, and stadiums. Play two Kaga Paces Bucket. You search the two water energy cards, reveal them, and put them to your hand, and try for your deck. Go ahead to get out energy to celebrate with Frost Mod, so you can search the two water energy to get attacking that way. Also, play two energy retrieval. You put up the two basic energy cards from this compile to your hand. So you can use this, to, let's say you have water energy in this compile, you have a Frost Mod out there, you get the energies back. Use Frost Mod's ability to actually dance to attach them again, and keep going. Good way to get back energy as well. So play two Poké 3.0, you look at the top seven, find a supporter. This is a good way to find supporters this way, but from the deck, because we don't have top of the letter GX, that was way well said from Guardians Rising. And so we gotta it's a good way to find supporters just because we don't have one and we need to get one. So that's another good way to get them. So by two Pokemon communication, we search a Pokemon we don't need, get one we do need. 
There's like four quick balls. Let's call it a card from my hand. Such as basic Pokemon, such as Elder Gloss, Meal, uh, the Manitan, V's, uh, Slams, uh, Squeakle, and Caldeo V as well. Caldeo GX, I mean. They play four Switch. You want to activate with Bench because Frost Moth and they at least have at least two or three costs, so you can uh, switch into it. Let's say we have a Frost Moth actively switch into it in our hand, and then we can touch Energy Special and then switch back to our attacker in the next turn and get attacking again. Just because we get stuck in the active spot. Then the supporters play two Bird Keepers, switch up active with Bench, draw three. This is a good way to switch Pokemon as well. And also, since uh, good against Bigger Ball GX because they lock items, so we can put our switches. So, this is another way to get in the active spot just because we get trapped in the active spot. So, play two bosses orders. You show which one I point Bench Pokemon with the active, get that key knockout, or we just. We, we have some that's very high in retreat. We start so we can set up that way. They play two Erica's Hospitality. We draw a card from each opponent's Pokemon in play, but we need four or less free requests to play it. Very good to get the turn, especially because we draw up the nine cards if they fill up the field that way. So we draw up the six between six and nine cards, depending. Two money, so we uh, shuffle a hand to the bottom of the deck. They draw five. We draw five, they draw four. So they have a big hand. We can use this card to uh, limit the resources this way. They play four versus research. Best to draw some part of the game. We score hand draw seven. Very simple. Now we play two air balloon. Which you cause the opponent is the target card attached with two colors less. So it gives a Frost Moss free retreat, also a Glamandor Madness and V's free retreat, also Elegos and Mew, Sweet Cone as well, and also Keldeo GX, so we need to attach those as well. This is a good first matchup for Frost Moss. And then we finally run out, we also play this new tool core from uh, Binnivolge. It's got Telephone Copper Sight. The title of this Pokemon, this card is attached to does 30 more damage to your opponent's Bench Pokemon V and Bench Pokemon GX, so you could be doing 60 with Glamandor and Wax Wild Attack, so you can 3 shot cro uh, Crobats, you can do shot the Den and GXs, so they can attack quickly. And then finally, we play 12 Water Energy around the deck. So that's the deck description, guys. Thank you guys for sticking around. Let's get to the game. This is actually one of my favorite decks to play, since I love the water type in the game. I had a lot of fun testing early. I won 5 in a row of games with Wimsica and 6 games in a row with, uh, Glyron, uh, with Stun Fist. So you have a new, um, what I mentioned gives you no weakness. It was like it was Wu-Wing 98. So you were, uh, Article of Motors, that, those deck box. So the color card is what call heads. So we do lose the card which is okay. They're, they're probably going to be sure to go first. Let's see what happens. I'll have to go first we can sell. So we're going to be sure to go first. I'd just like to start up. Let's see our hand. Okay, they're going to do the mulligan this time because this hand was very terrible. We have a support. We had a bunch of water energy we didn't need. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we put this active for that. And that's it for now. We take a mulligan. Draw a new hand. Okay, this hand's not as good either. We don't have a support. But yeah, we, can, we can start with Suicune. So we can, um... We can try with the Wave Slash and just stall out if we need to. We got a couple of drones to draw, so it's not bad. Let's see what we got here. We're playing now. Let's see what he's got on his, his active spot. Oh, so Vinca Ball. Oh, Vinca Ball's a tough matchup because we can't play our items this way. So we're gonna... Quick Ball, let's go to Water. Grab another Snom. Now I'm going to attach an energy to the squeak on the active, and I'm going to... I'm going to play these two cards so you can't play them. I'm going to play just one for now. And pass the turn. Let's see if we can attack turn two. This might not be Vigable. This is your Pikachu Zekrom tag team GX with the Vigable GX. Because some Pikachu Zekrom tag team GX are playing one Vigable in the deck. Let's see what, what the opponent does here. It's taking a while to set up. It's taking a while to set up, actually. Is your air balloon going to the Vicar Ball? This is part of the Vicar Ball Barasek deck. So here's the Yellow Horn on the Vicar Ball. On the, uh... I'll try to confuse it, then Parasite has ability, which every time you put confused, you put two damage counters on the act of Pokemon that's confused. On the active. Let's see what else he does. So you're right oh, this is a, this is the part of the, the box. This is Rhyperia V coming down. Karate Bell going into the Rhyperia. Gives it less one, it costs one less fire energy to attack if you're down on prizes, if you're losing. So you can Pokemon Communication, put in the Dedenna back into this deck, which is very interesting. Let's see what's going to start with this, with this uh, with Pokemon Communication. 
the Quebec coming down. Okay, so we see Quebec fire for like three cards. Yes. He draws his three cards. Let's see if he attracts them. Let's see how many they can mining us so we can reduce the hand a little bit, hopefully. What point. Let's see what he does next. Let's put a bit of money back to his deck. Put money back to his deck. I would probably used it. He probably didn't want to discard his hand. And it just passes. Okay. So we draw money. Okay, we need the money, which is perfect. So we're actually active and we're play money. Let's see how money gives us a better hand. Oh, uh, not this is not a dead hand, but we have a dumb hand to be We need to set up next turn. And I can attack with um. I can wave flash for twenty. I can attack with uh a road next turn. Put those energies back to my hand. So I draw a quick black and Elder goes back for money if I need to. So you see a Poke Gear 3.0 coming up. Do a top seven final support. Try to try to support it. If you do find one, put it to your hand. If not, you don't shuffle. So I don't think he can knock us. He can take it. He can't hit us this turn. Even though uh, Bigger Ball is uh, Stoiker is weak to Lightning, but he already has a lot more 100 at most. Let's see what he grabs with his po off his Poke Gear 3.0. The money is a research, is a boss, or oh, orders? It is boss's orders. Okay, that's fine. Is he going to play the boss's orders? That's the question. I have a switch in my hand just to see if he does. And I can attack with Suicune this turn. So you can see boss's orders. Mm -hmm. boss oh, that should have managed to be Max, which I'm okay with. I can just switch into Suicune. And attack So you got to. From a communication, putting the volcano back into the deck. Probably gonna switch out the, the dead energy X here. Yep, there's the dead energy X. So he's gonna just uh, drop it out of the bench and just go ahead and draw six cards. So he's not attacking us. So we we have a switch. We can switch into uh, sweet core and attack with uh, our water loop and put the water energy back to our hand. So there's a fire to the vacant wall, and then it's gonna then it discard another fire. So this is the wild this is the wilder box. So you play like a bunch of attackers depending on the matchups you play against. And then try to cover every matchup you try to uh, play against. So air blue going to the Crobat, we You already play support so he's gonna so pass the turn. So we draw a frost spot, which is nice. So we're going to um what's the frost spot, we attach the air balloon just in case he goes for the um um probably like the ball. We're going to Guys, so we can we're gonna roll a loop for 130. We don't need to bot man. You can't run for time again. I was the one who's gonna go back to the So we can attach it to the frost moth. I mean to the glare of the man to try to go for a freezing headbutt. And try to paralyze it. If we need to. My plan is I can just probably retreat and, and go for the um the uh freezing headbutt. If I do a water engine, I can go for the frozen slash and knock out this uh uh Vicar Ball in the bench. I mean active. Let's see what he does next. Is it wild is probably gonna go to the right period most likely? Cause no point it makes no sense to put it on the Vicar because it doesn't have a double energy uh double colors energy attack cost. So if it's one of the right period. So the player has drill, oh, he could drill one too if he draws an Aurora energy. Which is quite this energy from my hand, from the public Pokemon. That's 80 damage too. Yep, there comes the Aurora, discarding the Volcanium, because you don't need this. The Volcanium is only good for first turn. So you can just go flip start it. And the retreat is going to go for the drill one, doing 80 damage. I'm okay with this because I don't... If I don't know why, I just go for the Freezing Headbutt. If I need to. So this cause the energy. We draw a Pokemon communication. If I draw another Pokemon, I get a Frost Moth out. Uh, I think I'm just gonna safely attach to the uh, bench to Manitan. I'm gonna boss and order that Volcano. Uh, Alright, so we can boss and there's no point bossing all that up, that up. Um, I'll boss and order the Dedenna just in case he needs to retreat. He needs to out. And I'm gonna pass turn. If I draw a Pokemon, I can communicate to get an Elder God's search for the money again if it's in my deck. He needs, to, he needs the energy to retreat so he can uh, attack this turn. I play so much more. I play two Frost Moths. I still have a couple of Snom. I have some Beam. I have Lemons and Bees. I have V Maxes. I have also Mew. I have a few things I can play. So 
Let's see, so, okay, so gonna switch into my pair and take my not take a knockout here, which I'm okay with. With uh drill run. And I think I could try to go for a freezing I go for a freezing head but try to paralyze the right pair here. I think he's already down one. That's his first switch. Let's see what he does next. See, quick ball, discarding a torque over here, okay? Torque over here is very good because you can discard energy off the active. Two energy for the active for support energy does 120 damage. So you can, like, set him back a couple of turns if you need to. So you know the dead are coming down this turn. He's probably going to drop it down this turn. He's going to hand draw another six cards. He discarded Elder Goss and Switch. I don't know why Elder Goss is good. That's good. So he can't be back to his boss's orders. He has to play the support here. Uh, no, he played well the last turn. We need, to, we need to get a supporter at least this turn. So your fourth energy going to the right period. Good is it? Good is okay. So the boss or the domain turn maybe? Yeah, he, it doesn't knock, it doesn't knock me out. There's only those two times. That's okay. Let's see what we draw next. We draw a piece of research, which is a good top deck. Wait, let's go to research. Oh, we got a lot of bugs. Oh, yeah, the switch too. So we can attack with. Uh, we can't knock this out though, unfortunately. But we, no, if we need attack, we're gonna knock ourselves out. So what my plan is to do, I'm gonna cut paste this bucket, draw all my energy out of my deck. Oh, I don't want to uh, ice dance here, but I'm gonna ice dance three here. I'm gonna bucket again. So I have two. I'll put two on the uh the V Mac uh the V uh Lantern Dunk Manson. We only need four energy to attack, so it uses attack. And the Bird Keeper too. So I can just switch the Fast Mode again if I need to. We're done there. We're gonna roll it for 130. That's two energy back. The poet gear 3.0. Probably looking for, he's definitely looking for what he gets a welder. Let's see if he has any fire engine to attach it to. Hi, Broski. I am a brother. So, so he dropped a Volcanian. Interesting. Okay, he's going to weld it to probably the big, uh, the volcano itself, actually. It's just only for weld to one energy to it. So you have five questions, you're going to put three fire energy back to his now to three. So you guys switch back, bring back two. He's probably not going to want the high heat blast. Maybe, we'll see. But I don't know if you want to retrieve my favorite. It's a, four, it's a three plus a four. Unless he has a switch in his hand. So we can bring out the, the, the V, promote it, and then we use Bird Keeper, draw three. We just bring off a knockout, that's fine. Take some pride. We'll act. We'll put the man to act. We can bird keeper for three cards. Or we can one. Oh, I think I'd rather bird keeper. I want to keep this hand the way it is. Let's see, we draw the three cards. Oh, we got the V Max, which is nice. We will take a knockout on this um, Viperia and also do 30 to everyone on the board. I want to I go. I want to also knock out. Uh, oh, no, the Vicomos two times? I would also knock out the Vicomos two. Get an Elder Goss. And a quick ball. Quick ball is nice. I can just throw it on another man and 10B. And knock it out with the, I can knock out the Vicar Ball with the Frozen Slice attack if I want to. But he needs to get two more energy. In order to knock out this, what can he? He needs to take, get two more energy on the, off the board. That was a good, that was a good result. So we see another Poke here coming. They're looking for probably another Welder. And this is unfortunately. See my Lotus be coming down. My little kid's gonna get the five max with like Senti Scorch and any other, any other matchup like that. So you're, it's gonna buy well to let my Lorik. Now you can take a knockout heavy blast. Let me see, I'm thinking, what, what can I do here? I can go with Keldeo GX. I can Resolute Blade the Melodic so you don't have another big attacker. So you're gonna roll energy to the Melodic. If I was say I would take a knockout with the I would take a knockout with the 
Okay, he does have to learn his phone. I didn't want any of this threat, actually, because I think I will. He takes three prizes. So we're gonna evolve into... We're gonna boss my active. Quick ball another research. We're gonna quick ball research. So we'll get Cal DLGX. And then we're going to Ice Dance 3 and it's just onto it. And then we're also the boss orders the my little chicken knocker with Resolute Blade GX. We're doing 250 because it's actually super difficult. So we'll treat into the Caldeo and then we're the boss orders the Malodic. And take a knockout with Resolute Blade. Next turn, if we, our hand doesn't get limited, we can. I don't think the boss always knock out the uh, Maker Ball with um, Sonic X for the knockout. So we're going to the Crobat. You can't take, you have to knock out the Kelder this turn. So you have to see like a Melodic Wilder and another attacker going on. But he's already down three Wilder. He's down two Wilder, okay. And he's down an Elder Ghost. You can see how much of that the spread damage works. Only if it has the sight on the the man maybe I'll take five prizes that turn. I'll knock out his uh right pier, uh four prizes. I'll start on the right pillar and the Vicar Vault. So we will done it done sixty damage for the Vicar Vault on the bench. Let's see what he let's see what he can do. Let's see what he's going to do. The quick ball. Let's go on another quick ball. What attack is he gonna get? They play a, a very slew worth of attackers. They play a lot of attackers in, in this deck. Let's see what attack is gonna play with this time. Let's see what he's gonna search for with this quick ball. So another Viperia B coming down. He's gonna try to discard the energy off the Viperia V, which is, I think that's his, that's his game plan. But I think he's already down to Aurora too. He needs to find another Aurora and a Welder and Energy. Oh, oh, Double could finish the game for him too. Let's see if he gets a Welder and two Energy into, and three Energy into, onto him. Double does 20. I guess one Energy attachment. Let's see if he gets a Welder off this. Okay, no, you only have a multiple Meganian. So the next, uh, if she doesn't reset my hand, we have game. We just go Elder Ghost with boss, knock out the double. Yeah, so flare start, I can do a flare start to the double. So that's the game, guys. So we have to do is just play the Elder Ghost. Get the boss's orders. Boss's orders of the Vicable. And hit it with Sonic Edge for knockout. And take a last surprise. And there we go, guys. Got a nice move with the deck there. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hit a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. And hit the notification bell so you don't have to upload a video. You can see how this don't manage how it works. Try the damage around. Take big knockouts. Sweet ease up the points for knockouts. Alright, stay tuned for more videos in the next life for now.